Family of Huskies are now recovering after suffering serious life changing injuries. News 4 Tucson Shelley Jackson has their story. In March, Pat took in three Huskies, a male dog and his two puppies. They had been exposed to a plumbing chemical and suffered severe burns and trauma. He's so, he's so patient. Three-year-old Colby has the worst of the burns. Unfortunately, his back legs have lost all of the digits and some of the metatarsal bones. Um, also, the infection has spread up, so he may have an amputation right at the level of his ankle, or he may lose one of his entire legs. Colby, an eight-month-old Luke and Avalanche, somehow got into the chemicals in a laundry room. By the time they realized what they had done and that they'd walked through it and that it was a chemical, um, it, the chemical had already um, absorbed into their paws and began um, uh, e eating away at their paws. These are probably the worst cases the chemical burns I've ever seen. Most of Colby's fluffy husky tail had to be amputated. He's also missing most digits on his front paws. He can now walk, but he also does lots of belly crawls. So his part, like biggest thing is like just getting up on those back legs. The dogs need time for their tissue to heal before they can be fitted for prosthetics. Avalanche is doing well and isn't expected to need surgery or artificial limbs. Luke lost bone, paw pads, and tissue and he will need prosthetics. We're working with another veterinarian to do the um, prosthetic implants and um, strap-on implants. But it's going to be expensive, especially because Luke is still a puppy. It's looking like it's gonna be around um, $17,000. But the prognosis for all three dogs, including Colby, is good. We are hoping that he won't need a cart, that with these prosthetics, um, he'll be able to walk around and go outside like a normal dog. If you would like more information on the Huskies, check out our website, kvoa.com. From the west side, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.